Here we are folks, on the next leg of my tour around this week and we look at van conversions. I've moved on from Chesterfield down to south of Birmingham, just off the M42. And I've seen them on Auto Trader, seen them on YouTube, and uh, uh, this is TMD Motorhomes. So I saw the hobby Vantana up in Chesterfield, and this one is a dealer for Adria. <laughs> Expensive, I know. I have four or five uh, requirements on, on my checklist. So at the moment, the Adria Twin Supreme, uh, on paper, looks looks to have all of them. But this purpose of this visit to, to come and try them out. So I've got several in front of me. I'm not going to look at the uh, coach builds. I'm just going to look at these. Um, I know they're expensive, but I just want to see if I can fit. So we'll have a look. This is what I'm looking at. This is a 640 SGX. It's got a drop down bed at the back on motors and seat belts. They're both in our tense grey. There's another one next to it. And what I like is a door on the driver's side. And I believe that gives you a bit more room uh, as a driver to get in and out around the table. The table's not getting in the way. Anyway, this is the front. Another requirement I have is the skylight. On my van, I've got the skylight which lets in loads of light. Uh, so the skylight is uh, a necessity, really. It's 2.05 wide. Mine's 2.33. So I'm saving a bit there. And of course, with these, they have the short arm wing mirrors. So again, you're not sticking out a foot and a bit. Big windows at the back, which open out. And LPG is inside to the left. Uh, reversing camera there. Down this side, in the middle, we've got the washroom, set toilet, electricity fill point. <laughs> electric, electric point. Oh, look at that. Door stops there. Hello. So you're not going to get scrunching windows. Uh, the hobby I looked at the other day would have done. So extra marks for this one. And these are flush fit windows as well. Let's get in. It's got a fry, fly screen. But it wasn't me, Gav. It's broken. It's not on the runner down the bottom. Honestly, don't they check these new vans? That's for the table. If you want to have the table outside, you can put the table on there. So we've got a little flap there, and then our kitchen bit. Let's get inside and get warm. Fiat Automatic. That's something else that I'd wish for. Skylight above the cab. That one opens. Lovely cab area here. These seats are really comfortable as well. Plenty of room for me. Plenty of room here. Steering wheel adjusts, it moves forwards and backwards, so that's come out. I'll get my knees under, so that's good. And look at that central skylight. I don't know about I don't know about that. I mean it's fantastic, but how does it affect the strength of the van? The warmth? I don't know. I thought the front one opened, but it doesn't. But you've got a black outline there. Little cupboard here. A few knickknacks in there. Cupboard this side. I mean, they are small cupboards. It's a camper van after all that. Get a few things in there. I've just tried the blackout blinds and the fly net. Uh, feel very solid. So that's good. I mean, there's a good two inch gap between the inner, um, it's polyplastic again. I can see a label. So there's a good two inch gap in there, so it's got to be well insulated. So we've got two burners. You need a small pan on the left one, a big pan on the right. I don't think I've ever used two pans at once. Sink with a 
sort of fold out tap thing. And another cupboard for your kitchen bits and bobs. Now I'm going to try this seat. The hobby one was really, the base was flat. So we'll see how this stands up. Nice place to put your cups in the table. Very comfortable seat here. No, I don't have to sit in it. A lot of good good thickness on the um, the cushions and comfortable at the back as well. I say someone to put your pencils and your drinks. And of course there's a flap underneath here which swings out for the driver. It feels feels nice and there's plenty of room when I'm standing up in the, the kitchen area. It's when I get to the bathroom that's going to be tricky in the bed. Fly screens. Blackout. I mean, all, already I can feel it's much better quality than the Hobby, which is German made. That's surprising me, really. I know there's probably a, a price premium you pay on this. It just feels solid. So the lower cushion just comes off. Storage there. I thought the Borley was going to be in here, but perhaps it's underneath that cubby hole there. Just notice as well there's Isofix attachment points. So I know I don't look old enough, but I have a granddaughter who's three, so I went out in her chair. Uh, she could be attached to that. There you go, those are the Isofix points. Everything open down there, soft closed drawers. Nice. Gas taps under this one. Oh, little oven. <coughs> and a big cupboard, big drawer there. Nice. There's some taps. Um, taps under there, gas taps. Don't know if you can see that, but it's covered under the fridge, which has got a hanging rail in it. So plenty of space there. Fridge here, very narrow, much narrower than what I'm used to. Is that a 90 litre? 135, I'll have to check the specs. And a tiny, tiny freezer, it only goes back six inches. That's nice, only opens one way. Right, that's the bed in the upright position. I wanted to try it, but I'm not gonna get up there. I'll have to go and get the keys. So this SGX, different to the SLB, which is the one I was had on my list, this bed goes up and down. So if you can see the sort of seatbelt straps at the back, and I think either side here, 200 kilograms max, I should be all right. But this is all the space you've got. And the bed is up. So a couple of cushions stay there and another one on that side that seems to have fallen down and then we got all these cupboards. Got two drawers this side. Again soft close. Sort of cupboard thing underneath and then a gas locker there. At the back, so that's the near side. Lots of gubbins that comes with it. Cushions, electric cable. I think this is a third bed you can make up in the front. The big cupboard here. Right, what I thought was a cupboard is not a cupboard, it's a <laughs> barrier. So if you get a flood, that's going to stop the water getting through. Just slides back, clips on there. So if you were putting something at the back, you could go all the way through here. We can see the rails where that goes down on one side. And the other side. It's got 
LED lights under here as well, so you could put it right up and sit in here, or turn the lights on and sit and look at the back. <laughs> Again with the four windows, two at the back and one each side, there's, there's plenty of light under here. I'm not sure if it's a skylight above the bed. But, uh, this is a good space. And yes there is. So when the bed is down, uh, you've got light coming in there as well as the four windows. And three cupboards that side, and three cupboards that side, which you can't get at when the bed is up. Well, up this far. So you'll be able to get at those when it's down. So I'm standing in the kitchen area, just about to go into the shower. I've taken my shoes off. I mean, there's space here. This is good. I mean, and how I stand, it, it's all right. So the shower is going to be the interesting one. So you've got a loo. Oops, swivel loo here. Hello. And the timbre door. It's got a latch. It's got a vent. Pull down towel rail and a light. Nice smooth action on the door. Your sink is right here. And you've got an opening window. So everything is everything is alright there. And then these vans have a swing wall. Wow, so that just hides the sink and the toilet and then you've got a shower area. Uh, a plug hole at either end, so that will please Bob. So can I shower in here? Got a separate shower. Well, excuse me, while I'm showering, it's it's a bit tight, but I can stand up in it. That gives me good space. Yes, like this, like that. So that's worked. Again, the hobby one, there was no lit space. So there we go, there's the sink. There's the toilet. That round pipe. That is the pivot for the wall. And you've got a big mirror there. Oh, a locker as well. And that pivots all the way around. Hides the toilet. There you go, that's your standing area. Dare I attempt this roof? I don't know which way it hinges. There's some pistons here. Oh, well, let's just go for it. Oh, buttons, buttons to release. Not like my van. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now what? Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> that is cool. So there we go, hinged up. Again, that felt really good. It's as much as it opens. Yeah, like that. Right, I'm gonna try and close it without breaking it. So I just pull down, there's a, there's a handle here. Oh, that's smooth. One, two, three, four, five, six. With a satisfying click. Good. Controls there. Adri control panel. Some sort of heating control panel. 
Should have brought me glasses. Labasto, is that, is that a diesel heater? Step, outside step, up and down. I pressed the button and it came on. Yeah, it must be heating and water temperature in the middle. And all the other things over there. Not gonna press that one. Find out what that one does. That's it. Bed is down. There we go, bed is down. You can see the seat belts. It doesn't look very long. And I'd say it's a small double. Really those edge ones. Not doing much good at all. Got some little cupboards here. So three of these on struts. They're ventilated by looks of it, so that's good. Not the biggest cupboards. But you've got more space downstairs to put all your gubbins in. I tried the bed. It didn't seem to be long enough. My uh, heels were dangling over the edge. And the man came along and said, perhaps try the crossways. And I did that, and that didn't seem to be much longer either. Right. I think that's it for this one. Okay. I like it. It's expensive, so when I win uh, premium bonds, or my YouTube channel gets off the ground, <laughs> might be able to afford it. See you soon.